Let's get into this voicemail. By the way, you can always leave me a message at 510-343-3640. Yo, bro, Sachi. This is <laughs> resident bro, Andrew. What's going on, bud? That's a good one, man. So I saw that you want some folks to uh, drop some voicemail. So here I am with something that's very concerning to me regarding the Oakland Athletics. Here we go. Well, we have all seen the rumors regarding possible trades with Olsen and Chapman and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, something that we've all been accustomed to. And how is this going to affect fans possibly joining or heading to a new stadium? If they're, if they want a new stadium and they want to put butts in the seats, shouldn't it be retaining all star talent? It's just mind-boggling that the organization refuses to pay up for superstars, especially the ones that they've, you know, grown themselves within the farm system. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Have a cold one for me. Oh, <laughs> speaking of cold ones, how can we get a state-of-the-art tap room at Howard Terminal? There you I go. I think that needs to be um, discussed. Yes. Very, very much so. Definitely. Bye. All right, the resident bro, Andrew checking in. Long time no talk. Andrew, thank you for keeping my number all the way back from the podcast days. I appreciate that. Uh, let me address, I guess, first things first, the tap room. Absolutely, that's got to happen. There's way too many uh, craft breweries and, and excellent beer productions happening in the Bay Area, the East Bay, Northern California. They definitely need to be showcased, to your point, with a tasting area, beer garden, a tap room, whatever, at Howard Terminal. That would be so sweet just north of Jack London Square. But to address your main point and question here in commentary, I just feel like the turnover this time around for the Oakland A's, it's so different because timing is everything here. And I understand what fans get frustrated by because this has happened several times over the last few decades alone, but it has never happened in tandem with the very high prospect of the A's landing Howard Terminal as their new home, as their new ballpark and stadium. Those two things happening in sync are extremely important. You want to go into your new ballpark with a team that is primed, ready to go, ready to win, ready to establish, ready to christen that ballpark to make it a successful venue for decades to come. It is amazing, and I I can look across the bay and show you what the Giants did, how they turned it around, how they used the stardom of Barry Bonds to open up their new stadium and make that, you know, an attraction in the early 2000s for decades to come. Barry Bonds and those early Giants teams of the of the 2000s at their new ballpark, they set the tone for many years to come. And, and let me actually just totally switch gears here and talk about hockey. The Las Vegas Golden Knights, they're an expansion team a couple years ago. They have great success out of the gate. They go to the Stanley Cup final their first year. Don't tell me that that initial success has not been paying off year after year, something they've built, tradition, fan base, all that stuff. And that is exactly what the A's are after here. Now, if you told me right now, the ballpark could be open in 18 months, which it it can't. (laughs) Hypotheticals here. Let me just, full disclosure, in case you didn't understand, I wasn't serious there. It cannot open in 18 months or even two years. It's going to be... Four or five years at this point, probably, if we're, if we're being honest, if we're being likely and everything that has to get done. So at that point, I know you mentioned Olsen and Chapman. They came into the league in 2017. If this ballpark is open by 2027, they're 10 years into the league. Now, I love me some Matty O. I love me some Matt Chapman. I want the A's to be competitive every single year. I would feel heartbroken, to your point, if some of these transactions happened, the ones I see, the ones you see, all this talk and speculation, rumor. I mean, literally every team is linked to a Matt Olson trade. I saw one that the Yankees now are are going to get Olson, Bassett, and <laughs> Loriano. Like, seriously? What would the A's get back? Like, Yankee Stadium? Um, it's just way too much. Anyway, long story short, I get it, and I understand the frustration, but I also think we need to realize... And I know I know the personal connection. I have it. I, w- I don't want these guys personally or professionally to leave. But I also understand that is if this is what it takes to assure a successful Oakland A's team in four to five years, and that a ballpark is also going to happen in Oakland, 
in four to five years, then I guess this time around, it would sit differently with me if, in fact, you know, when this lockout ends, if the A's did a major overhaul. 